Mortal Kombat. I want to talk some more about Mortal Kombat because I just finished, um, I'm about to finish Invasions. I'm about to finish it. We're going to finish it together. We're going to watch the ending of that for this season. And then I wanted to give you guys some thoughts. I want to give you guys some thoughts about um, what this season was like, kind of the state of Mortal Kombat now with all of the patches and the fixes and all that stuff that's been going on, um, as well as my, an update on like how I've been doing with Quan Chi and Omni Man. Let's do it. And I have a PowerPoint prepared for us as well. <laughs> I have a PowerPoint prepared to for us to enjoy as well. So number one, numero uno, I got Quan Chi all the way leveled up. Quan Chi's done. I finished Quan Chi stuff. This is my this is my chosen gear and chosen um, skin for him. Same with Omni Man, but I did that. I showed you guys that before. So. There's that. Um, let's go to invasions. Let's finish it up. Let's finish it up. So once we finish the Sub Zero fight, we'll get into um, we'll get into some stuff. Okay, I've been using Quan Chi and Li Mei because I'm trying to get Li. I'm trying to get all of the base roster characters up to level 14 because that's when you unlock their second fatality, Quan which is Chi. crazy. But I'll do uh, Quan Chi here. Just so I could talk about his gameplay a little bit. I wish, I hope that one day one of the mesas takes us like here to the chaos realm. Also, I like the inclusion of these. Um, I didn't add this to my PowerPoint, but I like the inclusion of these injections where they give you permanent resistances to elements. I think that's super cool. Uh, I don't use any of the relics. I think that the debuffs on them are like crazy. And I just would rather not deal. Despite your victories against his minions, Sub Zero's icy resolve has not been melted. Perhaps defeating him will shatter it. Look, there's a Shokan, like frozen Shogun behind him. Okay. And then I'm gonna use the uppercut. The uppercut one is killer. Alright. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's finish this. Ugh. The Natara one was like crazy. What if I told you I could eliminate your brother? I'm listening. I really like this skin. I love this Sub Zero skin. Use the element which brings life? What does that mean? Fight. Fire? Wait, what does that mean? Oh, well, get, get away from me. Stop. Stop shielding all of my my moves. Golly, and I'm still just on the first uh, round. There we go. Ah, oh, that made my eyes dry. Ah! Oh, Lord! <gasps> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, they made the bosses really fun in um, Invasions. I really love the boss fights and the post-boss fights as well. So like after this you get like the um, the way to unlock the, the gates. I really enjoy those. I think those are my favorite parts of Invasions now. Which we'll talk more about when I do my presentation. God, the, the super armor they, that they get in the middle of their combos is so wacky. Okay. What you got? What you got? What are you gonna do? Oh. <laughs> he goes Zaza. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> I know it says I can use fire, but I don't want to use fire. I want to use Quan Chi. Damn it. It goes faster and it becomes harder to like dodge. Ah, oh, fuck your shield. What? What do you mean? <laughs> Okay, so I need to be off the ground when he does that, so I just I have to time that. Come on, why aren't you doing your combos, Quan? Quan. <laughs> We're on a first name basis now. 
Please, Mr. Shi was my father. <laughs> oh, you're such an asshole, sub. This is the boss fight that I wish that they had for the final one. This is like the kind of um, annoying boss fight that they Mortal Kombat usually does. Like with Kronika and um, Shao Kahn and um, Corrupted Shinnok. This is the caliber of... This is the caliber of asshole that I know that they can do. Golly, that shield is kicking my ass. Uh, your super arm. I haven't even gotten to his third round yet. <laughs> Hold on. I need, I need, I need Scorpion. I think I can't do that fight without him. Scorpion, help me. God, I'm not, I have barely played Scorpion, Scorpion. if I'm going to be honest with y'all. Although his skin is super cool. You would shed your brother's blood because you choose to stand in my way. This is a sick matchup with their like with such sick outfits. I love, I love. This is my favorite scorpion skin. <laughs> I'm mad how I'm mad at how much easier this is um, with Scorpion. But you know what? This is gonna play into something that I want to talk about later when we do our PowerPoint. That was the biggest bullshit ever. Honestly, yo, this is the best uh, boss fight they've made so far. And it's kind of upsetting how easy uh, Shang Tsung and Quan Chi are. It puts that into perspective. Oh. Good lord! Ah. Fuck! What? No. Fuck you, Sub Zero. Fuck you. Fuck you and that really cool skin. And I'm sure many, many people want to. Maybe if I go far. Oh, maybe if I go full screen, I can battle against it. Go, 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 go. No. Y'all know one of the things I uber struggle with when I play video games is insta-kills. Insta-kills are one of the hardest things that I that I just have such a difficult time um, battling against. Did it in Final Fantasy X with that big mamma jamma. Um, had a bad time in Final Fantasy 16 with the guy who had the insta-kills in that game. Basically, I just uber struggle with it. It takes me a long time to like figure it out. Golly, this is such a good fight. I really like this fight. See, like nothing's wrong with like a little struggling in a video game. Honestly, I think it's like good. I think it's good to be able to struggle a little bit. If this is the caliber of fights that they're gonna do um, for invasions from now on with their bosses, I am so down. I'm so down for them not being like carbon copies um, to each other. Ah, uh, fuck. I refuse to end stream until I finish this. I refuse to, until I beat this fucking asshole. Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what a fight, what a fight, what a fight. Oh, bro, that was so difficult. It's not over! No! It's a fourth form! What do you mean? Oh, you're kidding! Oh, God. Oh, whoa, 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 Good lord, that's what the buckets are for. Uh, <laughs> scared the shit out of me, bro. Oh, that had me. Oh, that had me like. Uh, the cartoon. Biting my fingernails. Oh, golly. That was such a good fight. Even in defeat. This dark Sub-Zero proved most 
intransigent. Given the chance to surrender, he refused to concede, forcing my allies to finish him. Damn! Robbed of their Grandmaster's cunning and tactical genius, Sub-Zero's cryomancers quickly fell to pieces. Hmm. The route that followed was utterly complete. It will take decades to repair this Cold War's devastation. But as the ice thaws and a new spring begins, I find myself hopeful. Hmm. Once again, my champions have risen to this timeline's defense. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And once again, they have emerged victorious. Oh, it kind of looks cool. Outworld frozen over like that kind of looks really cool. Interesting. Oh, and there's going to be interesting. It's going to be Melina next. I shudder to think what that's going to be like. I feel like that season, that boss is going to be so crazy. This, that fight's going to go so fast. Oh, brother. Look at this guy, dude. Which y'all can't see because my camera's in the way. Oh, wow. Look at this guy. That is sick. Now that we've finished that and we've checked that out, I have a PowerPoint presentation for us because I would like to talk about the state of Mortal Kombat. Here we go. This is the state of Mortal Kombat from a single player. Okay, that's all I do. I don't play online because it hurts my feelings. Because <laughs> when I play online, people say mean things <laughs> to me through my speaker and it hurts my feelings. So <laughs> here is like what I think is going on right now. Some good, some bad, okay? Number one. Omni-Man is good. I think he's fun. I think he's a fun character to play as. Um, I really enjoyed going through all of Natara's season with him. I thought that he was really, I don't know. I think at some point he gets to be a little repetitive. Like there's not a whole lot that I like doing with Omni-Man. Um, I like exploring the air combos, but with Omni-Man, I can't really do that as much. Um, so, but he's cool. I like him. I like him. I also like Tremor a lot. Um, even though I've said before that he seems like kind of a, um, a catch all when it comes to cameos. Like he can do like literally everything and that seems a little cheap, but so far he's pretty good. So far he's pretty good. Um, but damn it. I have more fun with Quan Chi. I do. I have more fun with Quan Chi. I like Omni-Man more as a character, but Quan Chi is just so fun to play with. He does so many like uh cool things like when you press when you just press um back kick he like <laughs> a random foot just comes flying at you from the side i love the range of his attacks i thought that's really cool um and i love the even though i think it's a little cheap i love the dropping down he just like stomps on your neck his brutalities are really funny um I, the happy feet one is so good so I've gone to level 20 with both of them. I've maxed out their levels. And I just have to say, I like going through with Quan Chi a little bit more. I like exploring with Quan Chi, but there's more to him. So he's fun. Um, uh, I want to talk about Invasions. Invasions is getting better with every season. And I think that is kudos to the Netherrealm team for that. I gone through, I've gone through all three of them so far. And you can see the little tiny improvements that they make with every um, season they come out with. Um, something that I really like that they added last season, and I think they perfected it this season, is reducing the amount of ambushes and these things called herbs, right? You get herbs from doing the ambushes and they increase all of your stats. Um, so, and they do it permanently. Same with the um, injections. I mentioned earlier i think that that is a really nice addition and it's a really nice bit of loot so i really enjoy that um i also really like that they added this season is adding intros to the bosses i don't think you necessarily need to add the intros to every single fight in invasions and just having the bosses as like a little nice sweet treat um whenever you get to fight them so i really enjoy that um i said before that i really liked how they added it in towers i like how they added it here so good job there um, and I also liked, even though like I kind of bitched about it earlier with the um, with the Sub Zero fight, I like that they re 
made the armor just happen on bosses. Um, when it came to the Scorpion season, um, all of them had had it, and it was so annoying to get through. But now that only just a few of them have it, like I said, it adds like a little nice sweet um, treat, a little nice sweet challenge when it comes to just these bosses. So kudos on that. But that being said, here is some things that I'm not too keen on. Um, I like Test Your Might. I think it's a fun mini game, and you know it's tradition in Mortal Kombat. But I wish that there were that they would let you retry the Test Your Mites when it came to the towers. I don't remember if in the older Mortal Kombat's if they let you retry it if you mess it up. I don't think so actually. But I would like for them to do that. I would like for them to let me retry it instead of having to go through the entire tower again just to retry a Test Your Might survival mode. Survival mode is weird. Survival mode is a weird, weird mini game thing where um, some of them are really cool and interesting and some of them are a bitch to get through. Um, and season one was way too easy. Way too easy. It was just something to like knock off of your list. But seasons two and three, sometimes survival mode, I, was, I would sit there for like the longest time just trying to get the pattern right. And um, I don't know. I think that there's a nice medium that they can find that they haven't gotten to yet. But I think that right now, sometimes it's a little too hard. I would like for them to find that easy medium or that uh, wonderful medium. But they are headed in the right direction. Um, next is this, is, this is going to lead to a bigger conversation about this, but I wish that the loot was better. I wish that the loot in Invasions was better. Currently, right now, I, in my opinion, you only get one piece of loot that's worth it. In the entire Invasion seasons, you only get one piece of loot that is worth it, and that is the final boss outfit. Everything else is not. Everything else is a palette swatch, and that's annoying. That's super duper annoying. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think that this is gonna, there's another slide where I'll talk about this more, but I just wish that the gear was better. Okay, um, and then more I'd like to see. I would also like them, for them to improve the gateway portal in the center. I would have preferred that they did something similar to um, Mortal Kombat 11 and Injustice 2 here, where it's like just a recurring amount of like towers, um, nothing too crazy, where it's just, you can sit there, you can grind out for some gear, some new outfits, whatever. Uh, maybe here you could do the palette swatches stuff, but I think that Main season stuff, other mesas should have, should I think each mesa could have its own unique costume, right? It doesn't have to be, like, instead of just a palette swatch, each one can, like, actually change what your the outfit shape looks like. But the gateway portal mesa could be, like, where you get the palette swatch. So, you know what I mean? That's an idea. But... I don't like doing the gateway portals thing. I think it's boring and I think it's too chaotic. There's like, it's basically like they throw every single effect onto the onto one match and it's like, this is weird. It's weird. The loot's not good. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it. I don't like doing it. There's no point in doing it. And if that's like the thing that'll keep you like tied over between seasons, it doesn't. Like I just don't, I'd rather just not play it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I'd rather just not play it in between seasons. Um, so I wish that there was just it was, I just wish it was worth more. And then I also wish this is something that I was saying earlier during the Sub Zero fight, which is super good. Is I wish that you could put more thought into which fight or which character you want to use for each fight. Because currently, right now, I think that the best part of invasions is the boss fights and post big boss fight because post big boss fight you go back to all of the mesas and you go through some of these like harder challenges where they're all kind of bosses and you can it goes so much quicker if you are able to like switch between elements and go okay um this character so scorpion is better against sub-zero so i'll use scorpion here but 
um, um, Baraka is really weak against reptiles. I'll use reptile here. You know what I mean? So I wish that you can utilize more strategy in that way. I would really, really, really enjoy that. Um, but I'm also torn. Part of me likes that they're keeping it to that, but I don't know. The rest of it feels like work, but that feels like play. That feels like strategy, you know what I mean? So those are my thoughts for that. Um, another thing I wish that they would do is I wish they would include the DLC in the season store. Um, perhaps it's a copyright thing. Perhaps they can't really have Omni-Man look like he's frostbitten, you know what I mean? But I would really enjoy it if leveling them up all the way to level 20 is not the end-all be-all to what you can do for these um, for these DLC characters. I hope that they can get added to the season store um, at some point. Um, this is something that I think is a crime. <laughs> Not a crime, that's using really strong language, but I think that I would really... I think it's bullshit. I think it's bullshit that you can't access your DLC characters that you bought, you download, you paid for offline. The servers were down last Thursday, and that really show. And you couldn't access Shang Tsung, Omni-Man, or Quan Chi. Um, and I think that's bullshit. I think it's bullshit if you bought these characters you know what i mean if you if i'm renting these characters whatever but i'm i bought them you say i bought them i don't know i think that's big bullshit um and i already went on that rant before and here's the thing that where i want to talk about the palette swatches i think there's too many microtransactions for too little worth in my opinion i don't think that i think a lot of it is just not worth it I think they're hiding all the good costumes, all the new costumes behind a real paywall instead of like having you grind to earn them, which makes it not as worth it. I think that if if it's just going to be all palette swatches, it's like, okay, all right. Um, I don't know. I just, I don't think, I, I'm not going to pay, what, five, ten bucks for fatalities. That's weird. That's weird. That's weird to pay for. Not weird for the consumer to pay for. It's weird to charge for um, those fatalities. It's weird. Um, I, I I think the occasional costume pack is fine, but paying five dollars for a reptile skin is weird. You know, um, not paying for charging for that. Sorry, I need to. I'm trying to adjust my language because it's not the consumer's fault. It's like Warner Brothers and what they're deciding here. I don't know. I think it's weird. I don't want to pay for that. I think, you know, the the Fortniteification of our gaming world has led to this, where people are ba paying twenty dollars for Fortnite skins. But for Mortal Kombat, I don't think it's worth it, in my opinion. I think that the occasional costume thing, sure. I think that the Christmas pack, the Christmas costumes, yeah. Sure, I think I can see that being a good costume pack that if you want to pay for it, go for it. But if... I think that there should be more costume availabilities in Invasions. Less palette swatches, more actual costume differences. In my opinion. So, that is where I think Mortal Kombat shines and doesn't shine right now. So, um, right now... After I finish and go back through and like grab all of the um, all of the remaining nodes in invasions, I will not be touching this game until the next season comes out. Like there's just not not much else for me to do in this game. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I wish that I wish that Gateway Week portals was better. But you know, obviously I'm still having a good time. Like I'm. I would not have gotten this far in invasions and I would not have leveled up Quan Chi and Omni-Man up to where they are right now if I'm not having a good time. So I'm still having a good time. These are just some little things that I wish were better. So thank you for watching. I love you. Bye.